Welcome to OSCE Tips for Student Veterinary Nurses with Jane Arvn. I hope you enjoy the video. My advice for calculations is, if you are worried about them and you think you might forget the calculation, when you go in you'll get a nice big bit of April paper. Do you know what? Write the calculation that you are going to use in a corner of it. Don't look at the weight of the patient, don't look at what you think you know the drip calculation is, don't look at what the respirator is because that's when you start to do it in your head and you miss out steps. So we know urine calculation one to two mils per kilogram per hour and that's for 24 hours. So if you think you might forget that, remind yourself because then you've given yourself a crib note so that when you actually go to do your calculation, it's there. And also you could do the calculation at the start here because you're not being asked to comment if the amount of urine you get is normal. You're only being asked to comment on its characteristics, so colour and smell and clarity. So it's not that you would say, oh, I only got 50 mils. That wasn't enough. You're purely being asked to demo that you know what it should have in 24 hours. So then make it easy on yourself. I know it can seem really amazing to do it in your head because it's only one to two mils per kilo per hour. So how hard can that be? Don't forget that your exam brain will kick in and your exam brain will make you do the weirdest things. And I have seen people do this exam and leave and they've not times it by 24. And you, they are going to fail and you know that they're going to kick themselves because everything else was fab. So make it really obvious. 7.5 kilo dog one times 7.5 kilos times 24 i've got my three steps in it's 180 mils per day i've actually gone per day make it really obvious again assume the person that's going to read the results of your calculation isn't very clever rather like we have to assume the examiner isn't and they don't know much about nursing assume that the person that's going to look at your work isn't going to speak to you isn't going to see you and needs to be told exactly what's going on so again 2 by 7.5 by 24 is 360. So the, yes, that should be double. And then your range is 180 to 360 because it is a range. We know they don't all pee the same. So that is how to tackle your calculations. And that is the calculation for working out urine. Thanks for watching. Going on and then down onto the hospital sheet. And again, so date, time, what you've done. I empty the urine bag. And this, sorry, this was for a previous video that I deleted because I was very silly. So whatever amount of urine removed at that point, I had 50 mils, that one had 100 mils. And then you want to know what the urine is like. So you're not making a diagnosis. You're not saying that you think it's hematuria or anything like that. You're just saying colour, clarity, does it smell? So is it clear or is it cloudy? What colour is it? That's your clarity. What colour is it? Is it yellow? Is it like tea is it dark is it pale and then the smell um you know we know that you can tell a lot from urine you're not going to get a really smelly wee in the exam it will be for safety reasons clearly and for standardization it's going to be um a urine substitute so it may have a smell which obviously you could comment on but again you wouldn't say it's flash or fairy liquid you would say it smells of so again, just be careful of not going the step further and trying to diagnose something. Just say say what you see. If you're a child of the 90s, you will understand that that's quite funny for some people. And if you're not, then you won't find it funny at all. But say what you see would be your key to this exam. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like new videos emailed directly to you. Join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at JaneRVN. And check out janerrvn.com for videos, blogs and more.